Hi. Wow. I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> no, but like, honestly, this is totally the highlight of my day sharing another principle with you that can absolutely help you develop emotional clarity and move forward in your life. And when you do that, you have this power to create massive ripple effects, positive ripple effects in your life that not only elevate you, but they help your children, your spouse, your friends, your parents, the people you work with, whoever they help, everyone. So let's get into it. Today, I'm talking about a specific principle that will help you when you're moving towards a goal, like a big goal. So I'm going to share a big goal I have with you. I talked about this on the podcast, Jessica Stories podcast, and it was that I feel really compelled to learn Spanish. <laughs> so sad. So this is me. This is Jess. Jessica. The goal is speaking Spanish, right? This is Jessica. Um, in this beautiful journey, I am like here. <laughs> and this is where I want to be. Speaking Spanish. Okay. This is, is far away. It seems really far for me to get there. Okay. And honestly, I have a ton of data in my life where I've failed at learning a language that I'm already just thinking this is just too much. It's too far. It's just not going to happen. And the problem is I've been taking these classes. I've been taking Spanish classes and it's been really quite fun. The first month was super fun. And then I just wasn't retaining it. And then I hit this wall because I'm focused. I want to be able to speak Spanish. I want to be able to communicate Spanish. This is what I feel compelled to do. I want this. I want this. I want this. But I'm still here after a month of working really hard. Like I was doing 35 minutes every day, which seems a lot for me. <laughs> and so I started giving up. I just thought I'm not, this is stupid. I'm never going to learn how to speak Spanish. And the problem is, I am so fixated on this part, on becoming a Spanish speaker, that I don't even know what the next step is. I don't know what the next step is, friends. And I'm looking down, I'm thinking it's too much, it's too far away, that I give up. But really, I need to know what this next step is. Because along this journey, it's just step by step. Just little things have this compound effect. And before you know it, you are closer. So when I was feeling like giving up a couple of weeks ago and I was feeling quite distraught about it, I thought, okay, 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 this is not working. I have to try something different because I'm so focused on the big, big goal, the speaking Spanish, that now I'm ready to give up and not even start this journey. So what I did is I thought, well, I do love hymns and I love to sing. Maybe I'll get a Spanish hymn book and I'll sing Spanish songs. Boom! This is the next step. As soon as I knew what my next step is, when I figured this next step out, I could take a step. And now I'm moving towards it. But what's going to happen is I'm going to get stuck again, right? And then my friend reached out and said, oh, I was thinking about you, Jess. And she sent me some resources. She sent me a blog that she recommended. Boom. Next step. Again, next step. Read the blog a couple times a week. Go and see the resources. Boom. These are baby steps. Like, yeah, my progress is still really pathetic and menial, but it is sending me towards it. Whereas before I get destroy and I stopped trying and I just got stuck so that I don't even make that progress and that is something that you can do you can choose to either give up give up that beautiful big goal you feel compelled or you can be like oh I want to do that but what is my next step what is the next thing and the thing is your next step is really close to where you're at it's just arm's length away it's not some drastic, massive change. It's a small change that you can be consistent in making. And then you'll be able to find your next one. And then your next one. 
and then your next one each time you are going to find a new next step so what is your goal what do you have a goal that you are aiming towards great love it imagine it this is great but what is your next step if this step for me might be a thousand steps away it literally might be thousands of steps and that feels really big and overwhelming, but I can sing my hymns in Spanish. I can visit the blog once or twice a week. I can do those things. I can listen to a podcast a couple times a week. These are things I can do that are walking me step by step towards that thousand step goal. If you want more encouragement like this, I encourage you to go to jessica-carney.com. That's my website. Get a free, the free resource. If you are um, have a resource for when you are feeling mad and how you can get to the root of feeling and acting mad that can prevent you from acting in ways that are hurtful and harmful. And it's going to totally improve your relationship with yourself and with those around you. So go check that out. Get the free resource and listen to Jessica's stories on every podcast directory. Okay, we'll see you.